here at the Rideshare Guy, we caught wind of a new feature that Uber is offering in just one market that we know of. It's called Area Preference. And in this video, I'm going to share with you what we know about it, some of the details about it, where it's being offered. And uh, stick around because at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a thumbs up or a thumbs down whether I think this is a good thing for drivers. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy. And here we are bringing you some news about a, a new feature, uh, which at this point is just available that we know of for sure um, in one market. Apparently, they're testing it out, and it's called Area Preference. So what is Area Preference? So what you're seeing right now is the first screen. Uh, it's a screenshot, and you can see where it says Area Preference. Get trips that start and end in areas you choose for up to two hours. So what does that mean? So what you can do, let's say in the morning, uh, you just want to stay in a downtown area. Well, as you can see on this screenshot, you can pick the areas that you want to uh, start your ride in and also complete your ride. So basically you can kind of make like a concentric circle um, around you and you can say to Uber, you know, this is the only place that I want to drive. And I can see this being very useful in certain situations. So number two, where is area preferences? Well, the only market we know for sure, uh, based on this a screenshot that I just showed you, is the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So if you're in Dallas-Fort Worth, look for this feature and let us know what you think about it, okay? Uh, and down here, down below in, in the comments. We'd love to get some feedback on how this feature is working for you in the Dallas-Fort Worth market. Number three, what do I like about this feature? Well, obviously, uh, controlling where we drive is really, really uh, important, right? Um, if I'm driving in the morning, let's say during rush hour, and I'm in my market of San Francisco, I don't want to get a ride that takes me across the bridge, right? I don't want to get a ride that maybe takes me over the other bridge. I don't want to stay downtown ferrying people back and forth to work, because a lot of times there might be some surge, I can make some extra money and I can rack up my rides towards a bonus. So that's phenomenal. Um, in some markets, uh, Uber gives uh, the drivers at the ping, you can see where the destination is, and then you got to see where it is and how, you know, if that works for you. With this, you just kind of set up your own algorithm and say, I only want uh, rides that start and end within the, you know, the greater area that, that I've designated. So I think that's really awesome, and that's the feature I like uh, most about this area preference. Four, what don't I like? What don't I like, obviously, is that you only get to use it for two hours. Um, in, in, when I drive in the morning, usually rush hour starts around 6 in the morning and goes to 9.30. So that's three and a half hours. So um, I could still, at 6 in the morning, if I'm not careful, get a ride that takes me across the bridge, and that'll ruin my whole morning. So I've only got two hours. If uh, I had this in my market, I think I would start it at about 6.30 and go till 8.30 and just be really hyper vigilant uh, beforehand so that from 6.30 to 8.30, I knew I would just be driving within my market and not getting rides that take me into traffic, into bad traffic areas. But then you got the afternoon commute. So there's a lot of situations where this could be very, very useful but you only get two hours per day. So that's the, the biggest drawback about this. So what are my key takeaways? This is great, all right? This is a, a move in the right direction. This is a pretty awesome feature. Even if it is only two hours a day, um, it just means you don't have to be so uh, diligent looking at the destination and making sure that you're within an area that you, you want to be in. So for that, that is good. It gives the driver some control. Of course, it doesn't give us all a lot of control, but it gives us a little bit more control um, over where we go, and that'll help us to make more money in less time, be more efficient with our driving. So thank you, Uber, and I hope this expands soon uh, to other markets uh, so that we can all start using it and, uh, and trying it out. Hey, if you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe. Uh, we provide lots of uh, videos that are designed to help you to make more money in less time. Join our team, we'd love to have you aboard. Welcome aboard if you just, if you just did that. Hey, this is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy saying, y'all go out and have a great day and be safe out there.